Sutta number 32, Atanatiya Sutta. Uh, these are the verses of protection. Uh, thus have I heard. Once the Lord was staying at Rajagaha on Vulture's Peak, and the four great kings with a great array of Yakas, of Gandabas, of Kumbandas, and of Nagas, having set up a guard, a defensive force, a watch over the four quarters, as night was drawing to a close, went to see the Lord, lighting up the entire vulture's peak with their radiance, saluted him and sat down to one side. And some of the Yakas saluted him and sat down to one side. Some exchanged courtesies with him before sitting down. Some saluted him with joined palms. Some announced their name and clan, and, and some sat down in silence. Stop for a moment. Uh. So these four great kings uh, is the lowest heaven uh, uh, in the desire realm. Uh. And uh, a lot of these, because they are low devas, uh, they are quite fierce, uh, like yakas, uh, nagas. Uh, here it doesn't mention the others, like uh, garudas and all that. Uh. So, and when the night was drawing to a close, uh, that means the early hours of the morning, uh, maybe 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. Uh. Then sitting to one side, King Vesavana. King Vesavana is the chief of the Devaraja of the Yakas. Uh, said to the Lord, Lord, there are some prominent Yakas who have no faith in the blessed Lord and others who have faith. And likewise, there are yakas of middle and lower rank who have no faith in the blessed Lord and others who have faith. But Lord, the majority of yakas have no faith in the blessed Lord. Why is this? The blessed Lord teaches a code of refraining from taking life, from taking what is not given, from sexual misconduct, from lying speech, and from strong drink and sloth-producing drugs. But the majority of the yakas do not refrain from these things, and to do so is distasteful and unpleasant to them. Now, Lord, there are disciples of the Blessed Lord who dwell in remote forest glades, where there is little noise or shouting, far from the madding crowd, hidden from people, suitable for retreat. And there are prominent yakas living there who have no faith in the word of the Blessed Lord. In order to give these folk confidence. May the Blessed Lord learn the Atanata protective verses by means of which monks and nuns, male and female lay followers, may dwell guarded, protected, unharmed, and at, and at ease. And the Lord consented by silence. Stop here for a moment. So here, this Yaka Devaraja, Yakas are fierce beings. I think mountain spirits uh, they call it Suasina, San San. Sometimes people go up the hills uh, and then they are not seen anymore. Because, uh, as he says here, majority of yakas uh, do not keep the precepts. Uh. The Buddha always teach people uh, to, to refrain from killing, from stealing, sexual misconduct, lying, and strong drink. Uh. But the yakas are uh, like these things. Uh. Uh, to keep the precepts to them uh, is very unpleasant. So they don't like the Buddha, they don't like the Buddha's disciples, uh, majority of them. Uh. So if the monks stay in remote forest areas, uh, if they meet these yakas, uh, and the yakas don't like the monks, uh, it's quite dangerous. Uh. So this yaka Devaraja, he wants to teach the Buddha this parita, uh, this uh, protective chan, uh, and then he is requesting the Buddha to teach the monks and nuns and the lay followers uh, so as to be protected by these uh, by this par parita. Uh. Then King Vesavana, noting the Lord's consent, at once recited these Atanata protective verses. This is the one we ch we chant also uh, very often. Vipasisa namatu chakumantasa sirimato sikisapi namatu. This one. Uh. Glory be to Vipasi, the splendid one of mighty vision. Glory be to Sikitu, the compassionate to all. Glory be to Vesabu, bathed in pure asceticism. These three uh, are not in our world system. Uh, long ago they 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 they, they lived lah. Uh. And then Kakusanda onwards uh, is in our world system. Uh. To Kakusanda, glory be, victor over Mara's host, 
to Kona Gamana glory to Brahmin fully, actually it's Brahmana fully perfect he. Glory be to Kasapa liberated every way. Glory to Angirasa, Sakyan's radiant sun, teacher of the Dhamma that overcomes all suffering. And they who from this world are free, seeing to the heart of things, they who are so mild of speech, mighty and of wisdom too, to him who helps both gods and men, to Gotama they offer praise, in wisdom trained, in conduct too, mighty and resourceful too. The point from where the sun comes up, Aditya's child, in mighty ark, at whose arising shrouding night is dispelled and vanishes, so that with the risen sun there comes to be what folk call day. There too this moving watery mass, the deep and mighty ocean swells. This men know, and this they call ocean or the swelling sea. This quarter is the east or first. That is how the people call it. This quarter is guarded by a king. Mighty in power and fame is he, lord of all the Gandabas. Dattarata is his name, honored by the Gandabas. Their songs and dances he enjoys. He has, he has many mighty sons, eighty, ten, and one, they say, and all with but a single name, called after Indra, lord of strength. And when the Buddha greets their gaze, Buddha, kinsman of the sun, from afar they offer homage to the Lord of Wisdom True. Hail, O man of noble race. Hail to you, the first of men. In kindness you have looked on us, who though not human, honor you. Often ask, do we revere Gotama the conqueror? We reply, we do revere Gotama, great conqueror, in wisdom trained, in conduct to Buddha Gotama we hail. Where they whom Men called Petas dwell, abusive speakers, slanderers, murderers and greedy folk, thieves and cunning tricksters all. This quarter is the south, they say. That is how the people call it. This quarter is guarded by a king. Mighty in power and fame is he, lord of all the Kumbandas, and Virul Haka is his name. Honored by the Kumbandas, their songs and dances he enjoys. The point at which the sun goes down, Aditya's child in mighty ark, with whose setting day is done, and night the shrouder, as men say, comes again in daylight's place. There too this moving watery mass, the deep and mighty ocean swells. This they know, and this men call ocean or the swelling sea. This quarter is the west or last. Such is how the people call it. This quarter is guarded by a king, mighty in power and fame is he, lord of all the Naga folk, and Virupaka is his name, honored by the Naga folk, their songs and dances he enjoys. Where lovely northern Kuru lies, under mighty Nehru fair, there men dwell a happy race, possessionless, not owning wives. They have no need to scatter seed, they have no need to draw the plough. Of itself the ripened crop presents itself for men to eat, free from powder and from husk, sweet of scent, the finest rice, boiling on hot oven stones, such the food that they enjoy. The ox, their single-seated mount, thus they ride about the land, using, using women as a mount, thus they ride about the land, using men to serve as mount, thus they ride about the land. Using maidens as a mount, thus they ride about the land. Using boys to serve as mount, thus they ride about the land. And so carried by such mounts, all the region they traverse in the service of their king. Elephants they ride, and horses too. Cars fit for gods they have as well. Splendid palanquins are there for the royal retinue. Cities do too they have, well built. Soaring up into the skies, Atanata, Kusinata, Parakusinata, Natapuria is theirs, and Parakusinat, Kus, Kusita Nata, Kapivantas to the north, Janoga, other cities too, Nava Navatiya, Ambara, Ambaravatiya, Alaka Manda, city royal, 
But where Kuveru, Kuvera dwells, their lord is called Visana, whence the king bears the name Vesavana. Those who bear his missions are Tatola, Tatala, Tototala, Dante Jasi, Tato Jasi, Sura, Raja, Arita, Nemi. There's the mighty water Dharani, source of rain clouds which pour down when the rainy season comes. Bhagalavati is there, the hall, that is the Yaka's meeting place. Round it, ever-fruiting trees, full of many kinds of birds, where peacocks scream and herons cry, and the cuckoo gently calls. The jiva bird who cries, live on, and he that sings, lift up your hearts. The peasant cock, Kuliraka, the forest crane, the rice bird too, and minor birds that mimic man and those whose name is men on stilts, and there forever beauteous lies, fair Kuvera's lotus lake. This quarter is the north, they say, that is how the people call it. This quarter is guarded by a king, mighty in power and fame is he, lord of all the Yaka folk, and Kuvera is his name, honoured by the Yaka folk, their songs and dances he enjoys. He has many mighty sons, Eighty, ten, and one, they say, and all with but a single name, called after Indra, Lord of Strength. And when the Buddha meets, greets their gaze, Buddha, kinsman of the sun, from afar they offer homage to the Lord of Wisdom True. Hail, O man of noble race, hail to you, the first of men. In kindness you have looked on us, who, though not human, honor you. Often asked, do we revere Gotama the conqueror? We reply, we do revere Gotama, great conqueror, in wisdom train, in conduct to Buddha Gotama we hail. Stop here for a moment. Huh? So you, you, you see here this yaka, funny, huh? they go around, huh? riding on men, women, boys and all that. Huh? Mm. Maybe these uh, men, women, boys huh, are lower, lower beings. Huh? Other, otherwise, huh, some of the things mentioned here, huh, they have birds, they have kaku, they have the minor bird. Hmm. Some of the things seem to be like earth. Huh? They eat rice or so. Cook on hot stones. Huh? Okay, to continue. Huh? These, sir, uh, are the Atanata protective verses by means of which monks and nuns, male and female lay followers, may dwell guarded, protected, unharmed and at ease. If any monk or nun, male or female lay follower, learns these verses well and has them off by heart, then if any non-human being, male or female yaka or yaka offspring, or a chief attendant or servant of the yakas, any male or female gandaba, kumbanda, naga, should approach that person with hostile intent while he or she is walking or starting to walk, standing or rising to stand, seated or sitting down, lying down or starting to lie down, that non-human being would not gain any honour or respect in village or town. Such a being would not gain a footing or a lodging in my royal city of Alaka Manda. He would not be admitted to the Yaka's assembly, nor would he be acceptable for taking or giving in marriage. And all the non-human beings, full of rage, would overwhelm him with abuse. Then they would bend down his head like an empty bowl, and they would split his skull into seven pieces. Let's stop here for a moment. Huh? So you see in the world of Yakas, huh? so in the world of Yakas, huh? they are very fierce. Huh? If you do something wrong, huh? they will split his skull into seven pieces. Huh? There are, sir, some non-human beings who are fierce, wild and terrible. They heed neither the great kings, nor their officers, nor their attendants. They are said to be in revolt against the great kings, just as the bandit chiefs whom the king of Magadha has, to, has overcome do not, do not heed him, or his officers, or their attendants. So too do they behave. Now if any yaka or yaka offspring, Gandaba, etc., should approach any monk, nun, male or female lay follower, with hostile intent. That person should alarm, call out and shout to those yakas, the great yakas, their commanders and commanders-in-chief, saying, 
this yaka has seized me, has hurt me, harmed me, injured me, and will not let me go. Which are the yakas, the great yakas, their commanders and commanders in chief? They are Inda, Soma, Varuna, Bharadvaja, Pajapati, Chandana, Kamaseta, Kinugan, Kinugandu, and Nigandu, Panada, Opamania, Devasuta, Matali, Chittasena, the Gandaba, Nala, Raja, Jane Saba, Satagira, Hemavata, Punaka, Karatiya, Gula, Sivaka, Muchalinda, Tu, Vesamita, Yugandara, Gopala, Supageda, Tu, Hiri, Neti, and Mandya, Panchala, Chanda, Alavaka, Pajuna, Sumana, Sumuka, Dadi Mukha, Mani, Tu, then Manichara, Diga, and finally, Seri Saka. These are the Yakas, great Yakas, their commanders and commanders-in-chief, who should be called upon in case of such an attack. Up here for a moment. So these are the Tuako, the Taiko, the Tiger Generals. So if you've got any problem, you must call out their name. <laughs> they will come and protect you. And these uh, are the Atanata protective verses by means of which monks and nuns, male and female lay followers, may dwell guarded, protected, unharmed and at ease. And now, sir, we must go. We have many duties, many things to do. And the Buddha said, Do so, kings, when you, when you think fit. And the four great kings stood up, saluted the Lord, passed by on his right side and vanished. And the Yakha stood up, and some saluted the Lord, passed by on his right, and vanished. Some exchanged courtesies with the Lord. Some saluted him with joined palms. Some announced their name and clan. Some remained silent, and they all vanished. And when the night was over, the Lord said to the monks, Monks, this night the four great kings came to see the Lord, and he repeated the whole of the verses. Monks, you should learn these Atanata protective verses, master them, and remember them. They are for your benefit, and through them, monks and nuns, male and female lay followers, may dwell guarded, protected, unharmed, and at ease. Thus the Lord spoke, and the monks were delighted and rejoiced at his words. That's the end of the sutta. So you see carefully, uh, this actually, this Atanata, our Atanatiya Parita is very long, right up to the uh, inclusive of all the... Uh, uh, yaka generals, la, commanders in chief. La. But the one we do, uh, the Thai tradition, uh, is very short, la, only the front part. La. But then to remember the whole Atanatya uh, Sutta or the Parita is so long. So when I used to live alone in the, in the cave and in the forest, uh, I only recite the names of the four great kings. <laughs> short. Uh, Anything to discuss? And then what? <coughs> but it's not stated here, ma. Because they have added, now, I guess. But uh, I guess it's true, now. If you're going to call all the uh, yaka commanders' names, uh, then only necessary, only you call. No? Otherwise, it's like saying fire, fire too many times. Uh, when the real fire comes, uh, the fire brigade won't come. No? Angirasa mm. is the sun. So uh, the Buddha is called the kinsman of the sun. 
because the Buddha uh, uh, emits uh, extremely bright light. Uh. I think our Buddha is one of the most, uh, you can say, powerful uh, Buddhas. Uh, because the Buddha says, for example, he wants to look into the past. Uh, there is no limit to the the, 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 the past he can see. Uh. So the Buddha's psychic power uh, is, 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 is super. Uh. So that's why he's so bright now. Nah? He's brighter than uh, Mahabrahma and all these things. Nah? There's one, some suttas nah, where it's mentioned he went to see Mahabrahma. And Mahabrahma, because they are very powerful, nah? they are very bright. Nah? This Mahabrahma, their light nah, can shine nah? uh, 1,000 world systems up to, those are very powerful, up to 100,000 world systems. Nah? How, how bright nah, they is. So when the Buddha went to them, nah? They they know what the Buddha is teaching, but they don't they don't believe what the Buddha teaches. So the Buddha to show them uh, that the Buddha is more powerful uh, than the Buddha emits so much light. Uh, then uh, I'll shine them, and then also uh, they they want to test the Buddha's psychic power. Uh, that's one sutta. He said, uh, "This Mahabrahma said, uh, I'll disappear from you." Uh. Then he tried to disappear, but the Buddha controlled his mind. He said, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, but he could not disappear. <laughs> and then the later, then he got a shock, because this never happened to him before. Then uh, the Buddha told him, now I'll disappear from you. He said, you try. And the Buddha disappeared, and he couldn't see the Buddha, but could hear the Buddha's voice. Then from there, he understood that the Buddha is much higher than him, uh, uh, more advanced than him. Uh. Then when he, then he asked the Buddha, um, you know, like if if you know, if you if, tell me about my past, like you want to test the Buddha. And then the Buddha told him, uh, actually, he was the Buddha's previous life teacher. Buddha goes to these these devas, uh, those uh, who whom he feels grateful to, like uh, in the past, they have helped him in the past uh, on the spiritual path. So because of gratitude, nah, he goes to correct their wrong views. Nah. Otherwise, he's not bothered to go to them. Nah. So many, countless of them, how to go to everyone. Mm. Quite happy, uh, proceeding quite fast. Huh? Mm. Another two more suttas and we'll finish. Then yeah, we can go on to Udana and Iti Uttaka. Okay, shall we end here? Unless anybody got a question? Ah,